for whatever reason, maybe I wanted it too much, I trained too hard, I knew that I didn't have it that day. It just wasn't meant to be. So I left that Olympics just devastated. And I just want to say to uh, my wife at home, today's her birthday. Sorry I couldn't bring home the gold, but I love you, hun, for, uh, for letting me do what I got to do. Thank you. At the time, I thought that was the end of my judo career. I got an opportunity to become a spectator at the 2002 Olympic Winter Games. And it was at these games that I decided that I, I wanted an opportunity, one last shot at my Olympic glory. And I didn't miss competing so much as I missed winning. I missed that opportunity to be the best. So when I decided to come back, it was for one thing, and that was to win an Olympic medal preferably gold. Judo for me was a family thing. My father is a black belt in judo, was a, an alternate on the 1976 Olympic team. My mother participated in the sport. She became a black belt. My sister was a year younger than me. We both got our start early in judo. I can remember growing up on the mats and just being kind of a little rug rat, running around watching kids do judo, collecting the belts of the other kids, putting them around my neck. Whoever didn't have a partner, I, w I was sort of wrestling with them on the mat, and that's how I got my start. From a very early age, my dad instilled discipline in his students and in myself. You don't miss practice for any reason. You commit to something 100%. If you want to achieve something, you need to work hard. Perfection was required all the time in training and he used to push us very very hard I remember my first competition pretty vividly I was five years old I was scared to death I didn't want to compete at all at my dad's studio and as soon as the referee said begin Hajime the match was on and I started fighting and I won that match and then I went on that day to win the rest of my matches and uh, finished in first place in my first competition. I remember being the coach's son and going to events that my dad was never satisfied with where I was at. He always wanted to push me harder, push me further, to make me better, to improve me. I either competed up one weight class or up two weight classes. I competed against the hardest kids at the event, always. There was never a time where I rolled through the event and it was an easy competition for me. He was always pushing me to my limit. He would point out what I did wrong in the match, point out my weaknesses so that I could make it to that next level or make that next stride to, to getting better. But I think I did realize I had a talent for judo at a young age. I mean, I had never lost a match. I had won every single local tournament and every single national championship that I had ever entered uh, from the age of six until 11. And that put a tremendous amount of pressure on me, uh, you know, by being current national champion for three, four, five years in a row. Heading into the nationals when I was 11 um, it was a very difficult match for me. And I remember that when I realized that I had lost. I didn't know how to accept it. I didn't really know how to react to a loss. My dad let me know that, hey kid, it's okay to lose. But it was also kind of a, 
a cleansing feeling for me. I, a, kind of a weight had been lifted off my shoulders. You know, and from that point on, I realized that it's okay to get beat as long as you do the right things, you prepare properly.